everyone, so today I'm doing like a skincare kind of little haul slash trying it out for you guys. Even though I have already tried all of these, <laughs> I'm going to be showing you clips of me using them and just so you can see what they look like. So I kind of don't really have much of a skincare routine. I just use my cellar water and then wash my face with this cleansing thing and put moisturiser on in the morning, and that's it. Um, people probably think that's bad, eh, it's alright. But I kind of wanted to get into having a few nice toners and just having a few skincare pieces. So some of these are not exciting at all, and some of them are. So I'm going to first show you the ones I kind of just wanted to buy for a while, and I just bought them. Oh, first, I'll show you this, which is my normal moisturiser. I bought this to go to Ecuador with last year, and I kind of just like it and I've stuck with it. So this is the Olay Beauty Fluid Day Moisturiser. This is for face and body and this is for normal, dry and combo skin. And this is a smaller one. Um, this is just basically a normal moisturiser. I then also got a night cream. It's by the same Olay Beauty Fluid range. Um, because I did buy a night cream, I bought a Palmer's night cream and it really broke me out. So I haven't used it since. I just didn't, it just didn't work well. So I bought this one, which is the Olay Double Action Sensitive Night Cream. It's literally just a thick cream to use at night. I'm really bad at remembering to do that, but I'm trying to remember to put some cream on my face. Another thing that everyone probably has already used by now, but I've wanted for ages, is the L'Oreal, uh, L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Purity Mask. Um, they have three different ones. They have a Purity, Detox and Glow. I was meant to get the Glow one, but I accidentally picked up the Pure Purity one, which is the green one. And this, um, I don't know what's in this one. What's in this one? This one is meant to deeply purify and mattify, and it just says three pure clays and a, a eucalyptus, that's the word. So it just comes in this very, quite heavy packaging, and I'm sure you've seen these everywhere. Um, but it's just green, and you apply it onto your skin, and you leave it, and then wash it off. It smells very lavendery, so you'll see a lovely clip of me wearing this in a moment. But yeah, I just really wanted to try one out. I kind of want to get the glow one though, which I think is the ready one. To me the mask is quite thick. It smells like lavender. I'm actually going to use a bit of a brush. You can use it with your fingers because it's quite thick. But I thought I'll try it out with a brush. I think it does start to set up quite hard quite quickly. Which is kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. I'm now going to let this sit for 5 to 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to leave it for 10. It's just until it's dried, if that's the right word. So I'm going to wait for that to be done. It is kind of starting to tingle my face a little bit. So I kind of like having that. So the 10 minutes are up, so I'm now going to use a cloth and wash it off. As you can see it's not completely completely dry but it's dry enough for me. So I'm getting some warm water on here and removing it. mask done and it leaves it feeling very soft and lovely. The other thing which I've kind of wanted for ages and it's really silly really but it's just this Vaseline Instant Care Spray Moisture. This is the aloe aloe one so the green one because I I never put moisturiser on after I've had a shower or a bath or when I shave I'm really lazy like really lazy <laughs> I just can't be bothered to let it set and ugh so I thought a spray w would make things so much quicker and you use literally oh, spray and rub. 
and then it dries really quickly and this smells quite nice these next two things are things I bought from Sephora posh I know never heard of these brands before and I feel so fancy like I feel really fancy this first one comes in this lovely box it's by uh, I don't know what the brand is it says Martina and it says Sunday Riley so whichever one that is don't know and it is a mattify melting water gel toner it's for oily acne prone skin it instantly transform it instantly transforms from a cooling gel to a mattifying water toner as it clarifies removes oil and visibly tightens the appearance of pores for clear shine free skin and this has loads of cool ingredients in it has oh I can't pronounce words it has green tea it has cucumber and witch oil witch hazel sorry marshmallow root manka black cumin neem magnolia bar and bentonite I don't know there is a long thing on the back um but it comes in this really nice packaging. Um, let's see if it says on here. It's for, I don't know if I've said, but it's for oily to acne prone skin. I do, if you know, have acne prone skin. And I have been getting some. If, um, if you watched my kind of get ready with me, it's, 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 it's a bit bad. But we'll deal with it. So it's just like this. And it's just a pump. And it comes out green. And it smells really nice, like I like the smell, um, but it has loads of things to say what all of it does. I will put the link down where I bought it down below for you so you can read it yourself. I so I refilm these look away bits in my bathroom and my, I don't have a lot of space so I'll have to deal with this angle. But I've just washed my face, I've just had a shower. And I'm now going to use the water gel toner, which I really like. I've been using it a lot. Um, it's just, I just really like it. So I just use one pump, which is quite enough. And this is green colour. It smells really fresh. Um, it just has a look, just has like a lovely smell to it. And it just feels... So nice, so you just rub it in and it becomes kind of watery. And it doesn't take that long to set in the skin, quite fast. Like so. And then it is pretty quick at drying and then you can put on your makeup. Then the last thing, it, I got a mini version because the bigger version was quite expensive and I didn't realise how mini it was. This is the size. So it comes in this funky box and it is the, is it Dr. Jart? I don't know. Cyaperdermagreen Green Solution. So this is a tiger grass colour correcting treatment. It neutralises redness and protects skin, improves skin appearance to be vibrant and it is SPF 30. Um, I got this because I do kind of have red, reddish skin, whatever the word is, like it's sometimes a bit red. And obviously when I have scars and spots, it's like, ugh. So I got this because I thought, ooh, colour correcting, and it has SPF in it. So, you know, killing two birds with one stone? I don't know. So it's greeny, smells very lavendery. They all smell very, ooh. So yeah, you don't really need a lot. I've already used this a few times and you don't need loads. Um, and I think this pot might last me a while. So yeah, it is sun cream as well. So it says, after using tone and serum, apply a moderate amount onto sensitive skin. Treatment will change from green to beige and it will kind of help cover redness. So I've accidentally deleted this footage so I've had to redo this a different day. So I've just put moisturiser on and I'm going to apply some of this. So it is but quite thick, smells like lavender and you don't need a lot. Let me just turn that thing around. You don't need a lot I don't think. It's a bit sticky. Like it has kind of a sticky 
stiff texture. This kind of acts a bit like a foundation primer because it makes your skin really soft when you apply foundation. Um, I don't know if it does a great deal of covering up the redness. But I do feel a bit more confident when I have this underneath my foundation. So that's it all blending. It does leave your skin feeling really soft. So now I'm going to quickly do my makeup. I'm going to speed it up for you all so you don't have to see me being boring. And just to show you what it looks like once you have foundation on. So that is my makeup done. I don't know how well you can see it because I am sitting in front of my window and it's quite light today so it kind of is washing it all out. But I kind of like the look it has. Like I still, I you still see kind of spots and stuff. Um, like the redness of them. But other than that, it's quite good. And it does, it does act like a primer because it's like very soft, very lovely. And I really like it actually. Ooh. And this, I feel like it's going to last me such a long time. This is only the small one as well, so this is... Oh no, this is the 15mm one, and you can get bigger ones, but I got this one because it was the cheapest. So I didn't want to spend loads of money on it and then not like it. But yeah, I really like this one. So that's it for the video. It was a very kind of short, snappy haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the trying on bits. Um, hope it maybe might help you out, maybe. I don't know. I'm not like a skincare beautician so I don't know. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I do have another thing from Sephora which I'm going to be doing an interesting video on. Ooh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you know any more skincare that I might enjoy or kind of know that I will be interested in because I am looking at different ones, um, be sure to comment down below and I will see you in my next video everybody. Bye!